Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope all of you are well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to NIVS home school this is shahadi akhtar assistant teacher of science of national ideal english version school day shift today i am going to take an elementary science class for class 3 students my dear students our today's topic chapter 5 uh, reading done page number 33 and 34 and our today's lecture number 13 my dear students let's start our class this is chapter 5 uh, today we will discuss uh, from page number 33 and 34 so <coughs> soil and crops what are there any differences between sandy loamy and clay soil for growing crops my dear students after uh, discussion uh, this page uh, then we can easily find out the differences between sandy loamy and clay soil and which soil is suitable for which crop now start clay soil the particles of soil clay soil are the smallest and more compact among the three types of soil my dear students underline this line the particles of clay soil are the smallest and more compact among the three types of soil this line is important and you have to memorize due to the tiny size of the particles water drains slowly through clay soil underline also this line <coughs> and uh, uh, you have to memorize also this line due to the tiny size of the particles water burns slowly through clay soil thus clay soil can retain water and suitable is be, uh, suitable for better plant growth underline also this line and this soil contains the necessary elements for plants growth and legumes and jack fruits grow well in this soil underline also this line my dear students here given the figure of legumes and uh, jackfruit legumes and jackfruit grow oil in the in the clay soil now come to sandy soil sandy soil has the largest size particles among the three types of soil my dear students underline also this line and you have to memorize this is uh, this line is very very important for in question answer water can pass through sandy soil quickly as well as necessary elements of soil this is also the uh, characteristics of sandy soil water can pass through sandy soil quickly as well as necessary elements of soil and because these crops do not uh, grow well in this type of soil and this soil is suitable for growing watermelon groundnut small size melon or cucumber my dear students underline this line and memorize you have to memorize also now come to loamy soil loamy soil is a mixture of sand clay and humus I uh, underline this line uh, due to the properties of sand and clay it has a tight hold on water and soil elements but it drains well my dear students underline also this line paddy wheat maize barley jute or sugarcane etc grow well uh, the loamy soil my dear students underline also this line and most of the areas of bangladesh are made up of loamy soil underline also this line my dear students see this figure they are given paddy wheat and jute okay paddy wheat and jute are the are uh, grows oil in uh, the loamy soil now uh, we can uh, easily find out the differences between sandy loamy and clay soil at first uh, the uh, we can say the differences between clay soil and sandy soil thus uh, clay soil the particles of clay soil are the smallest and more compact among the three types of soil and uh, sandy soil has the largest size of particle okay due to the tiny size of another differences is due to the tiny size of particles water drains slowly and uh, in the sandy soil water can uh, pass uh, through sandy soil quickly okay legumes and jackfruits are uh, or jackfruits grow oil, uh, oil in clay soil and watermelon groundnut and cucumber uh, grow oil in sandy soil okay like this how uh, we can write uh, easily the differences between uh, clay soil and sandy soil and loamy soil uh, my dear students i hope all of you have understood our today's topic properly memorize properly your all question answer and word meaning from this chapter uh, uh, submit your sw regularly see you again in the next class allah hafiz